Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Boy Garcia, and I have here another Bible review for you. Our friends at Crossway have sent me this amazing ESV heirloom Bible called the Legacy Edition, and this one is the Brown Harwin Nether, which is an amazing edition uh, in my view, and uh, I think it's really unique. To be honest, uh, there's nothing like this in the market. So um, let's get into this. We have. Crossways, uh, amazing boxes that they, uh, you know, it's just, it goes with the quality of the Bible. It's the ESV heirloom Bible, as you can see here in gold. It has all these gold details all around. And in the back also we have, that is the ESV heirloom Bible Legacy Edition, printed and bound in the Netherlands by Royal Young Blood, which that alone is a sign or a symbol for quality. We're gonna have a look very shortly. But uh, this one comes, it's like a two-piece box. Very sturdy and it comes with this velvety kind of uh, cloth all wrapped up, which I think is also a nice touch. But let's stop talking about the box and let's start taking a look, taking a look at this Bible, this amazing Bible. As you can see right here, it's a very dark brown color, I think, very, very nice. Uh, smooth to the touch, it's uh, stitched all around the perimeter, as you can see here, and on the spine, it comes with one, two, three and four raised hubs, and uh, Holy Bible, ESV, English Standard Version and Crossway logo stamped in. Uh, the leather without any foil is what we call blind stamping and uh, I think that is actually very class not to have anything here kind of shiny it makes this more kind of a uh, uh, rustic kind of look if you if you will I like that um, nothing in the back now this leather uh, will get all kinds of marks and, and indentations over time but that's not the bad thing. This type of leather is meant to do that, and uh, kind of rugged kind of leather. Uh, it will show that you're actually using your Bible, but that's a good thing. This leather gets better over time, and uh, the signs of usage will only give more character to it as a very unique uh, Bible, in my view. So rather than have that as a negative, I believe that will be a positive to it. Uh, if that is what you like. So let's take a look at the interior. The liner itself is also a very nice kind of dark chocolate kind of brown color. Uh, thick and, and sturdy. It, it's like you feel that this thing is gonna soften up after a little bit of usage. But right out of the box I can feel this is a bit kind of firm in texture and feeling to it. Is an edge line Bible, which basically this leather comes into the text block, giving this hinge a lot of strength. It will not break apart after years of usage. Now, the size of this Bible, it's uh, nine inches tall by six inches wide. It's a little bit more than an inch and a quarter thick. The edges, the paper. The gilding is, is very, very nice. Look at that gold gilding, the shine to it is amazing. And it's red under gold. You can see when you open it up, that red effect is amazing. It comes with four ribbons in four different colors. Uh, very thin and a bit short to my liking. I would like this to be a bit this long. That's what I like anyway, but that's not the big issue for me. And uh, I forgot to mention it comes with this uh, pledge in a very nice classy uh, card uh, from Crossway basically telling you that this is the best, one of the best produced premium Bibles out there in one of the highest grade cowhides uh, from Horwin Leather Company, which is by the way uh, one of the most famous and renowned uh, tanneries in the USA for over a hundred years is basically a guarantee for life for this Bible. 
Now let's take a look at the beginning of this Bible. It comes with a couple of uh, glossy cardstock sheets and then we got the presentation page, marriages, birth and adoptions. And the first page right here in paper, it's like, uh, oh sorry, I missed one. Here it is. It's just a Holy Bible, a very classic kind of uh, design here. Uh, to the right, uh, English Standard Version, my crossway in Wheaton, Illinois. Now, this is the 2016 text, and uh, as we said, this is printed in the Netherlands in the best quality paper and ink. And the paper itself, it's kind of thin, but it feels strong and pretty uh, opaque. And here we have the preface, more features, an explanation for this edition, the textual notes, etc. And here we have the Old Testament. Now, as you can see, the hinge wants to kind of close on me, but that's because it's just open out of the box. And, and this Bible has uh, that kind of uh, feeling that's actually a strong built Bible everywhere. I haven't even broken in this, this, uh, this Bible. Uh, but if you do this a little bit, it starts even losing a little now as we speak. That's amazing. Here's the design. You want to have a single column with uh, titles for, for the text on the right hand side margin, footnotes around the button, and the actual book names in, in a bolder black font on top. Uh, very classy. Uh, you also have a little bit of uh, margin here in the interior. I love it. I like that. I, I believe this is one of the best uh, uh, designs that Crosby have come up with. Now, this is a black letter. So if we go to the New Testament, we want to find that all the words of Jesus are in black, which I like. I prefer black over red. If it's just for reading, red doesn't bother me, but in this kind of uh, uh, edition, I think black is more classy, if I could say that. I think it matches better with the overall uh, idea of this edition. And uh, one thing I want to show you here is that even the areas where there's no text, the ghosting, the show through from the other side is minimal. Amazing for such a thin paper. To be that opaque look at that that's, that's pretty thin like it is thin paper but it doesn't feel like it's gonna break i don't know how this paper is going to uh, respond to a uh, heavy usage for the years but uh, i believe it's gonna hold pretty good because that paper it's not it's not cheap the size of this uh, uh, font that I, I i can tell you is a nine point lexicon but it looks to me a bit bigger than that. To my eye, I could call this at least at least 9.5, which is amazing. So nice to read. I mean, and the layout also is calling me to to basically get into the word. Uh, I'm impressed. The, also, the smell of this leather is amazing. I mean, that's something that you cannot perceive in on the video on the video, but. You, you feel like this is a kind of, I don't know how to say it, it's like a, it's like a classic old times type of Bible, the one that uh, uh, the Puritans would actually carry on themselves uh, on a horseback, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Anyway, the back of this Bible, we're going to find, here we go, so that's, that's the concordance right, the back of the Bible, and the concordance is uh, pretty Pretty good for such a thin Bible. We got look at that chunk. Some people don't like to have concordance in these Bibles because they they have either a good large concordance on their shelves, or they just use uh, internet for for such purposes. So they think this is a waste of space. I, on the other hand, I kind of like to have that here, uh, just in case I don't have a phone with me, or I'm not at home. Uh, it's good to have this as a help in the back of the Bible. And uh, then you've got Crossway's maps, 
typical crossways maps, which I kind of like. I would have preferred uh, this paper to be kind of uh, a bit more kind of uh, thick paper rather than cardstock, but that's just my own preference. And uh, the school corner we have one, two, and three uh, blank pages of cardstock. Okay, that where you, where you can write uh, notes. Very handy to have here. And uh, right the back, we just have this amazing liner again, uh, which is also cowhide. Now this file is quite stiff at the moment, but yeah, still you can bend it because it's just red. And there's no car stock and there's no. I think you can work this thing out and eventually you will just become soft and, and, and uh, buttery in your hand. Now I wouldn't you I wouldn't do that on purpose. I know people like to do that. I just use it and let it be and let it work itself itself out. Uh, I'm amazed. I have to say I recommend this Bible. Now you can have this Bible orts also in black ghosting. If this is not a type of leather that you like, because I believe you have to be particular about this. Some people may not like it. I think it's gorgeous. But you you can find this same edition, black gold skin. And also that one would come with gold stamping on the spine instead of just blind stamping like this one. So I'm impressed. I recommend this Bible absolutely. What I'll do is I'm going to place a direct link on the description box. And uh, if you have any questions, please drop us a line. I'll be delighted. I'll be happy to help you. And uh, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up if this video helped you. And I hope to see you in another Bible review or rebind. Until then, Shalom.